There's a really good uh, video by Professor Duncan Coots that explains you start with the research paper, and then that research paper then becomes specifications and so on, and it becomes more and more refined until it becomes code, all right? So that's a lot of a lot of papers out there. Sometimes you hear people make fun of Cardano. I get a laugh out of it, and they, they say, oh, yeah, white paper Cardano. Well, guess what? There's 46 white papers out there. I don't know how, I don't know how far we're into it. I should probably create some type of visual diagram that shows 46 papers laid out from end to end and color them in as green. This paper has been put into code, right? And yellow is these papers are in progress and then, you know, orange or red, these papers aren't touched yet or gray because they're NA just to kind of show the progress uh, of how much of the paper has been put to code you know that would be kind of cool wouldn't it that'd be really cool but you're gonna need a lot of paper like i'm not sure if people realize but these are not you know small papers like ouroboros classic the, the first ouroboros paper is like 50 pages the next version of Boris probably is like another 50 pages gens is another 50 pages Cryptonist is another 50 pages and you like you know multiply it by like you know 46 or whatever this is <laughs> like you're gonna be you're gonna be printing for a while and Rick, I'd like to add that those 21 papers, I believe he said that those were in the last year. So um, Cardano has been working. And Sebastian, maybe you can touch on this. Uh, I look at the papers as, I mean, as a developer, you get very um, excited about these papers because they're pretty much that formal specification that you're looking for to develop your code. So they're the dictionary that's going to provide you the guide to build what you need to build. Is that not correct statement to make yeah i think a, lo a lot of what the papers try and do is establish if this is even possible to do right i think that's that's mostly the goal of the paper it's like a requirements gathering okay so you can imagine when cardano was just starting okay and charles has this grand vision we're gonna build proof of stake and it's gonna be awesome there is a chance at that time that they could have put money into research or proof of stake and it would have been a bad result. It would have been a, a great paper that proves why proof of stake is not possible. It, it was possible that this ha would have happened. But as we know now, it turns out proof of stake is possible and we had really rigorous research to show why it's possible and how to do it. Okay. But y there's a lot of times when, you know, engineers spend a lot of, of time and money building products that end up being impossible to build in the end. Okay, they think maybe this is possible and they're not too sure and they don't want to spend money on the research and so they're like, okay, we'll just go for it and they, they have a go at it. But you know, sometimes it's just not possible. You can actually mathematically, mathematically prove it's impossible to write certain kinds of programs. Okay, and so this is the importance of doing the research because we need to make sure we have the requirements and the fundamental understanding before you move to the code. And so Plutus was kind of the same thing, right? If you imagine how they got it to fit on a napkin, it was, you know, a lot of work, a lot of thought went into this. To, so is it even possible to create a programming language that allows you to compute everything a computer program needs you to do? It's a, a short specification, right? And it requires a lot of thought. And it, 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 it's possible the answer could have been no, right? You can imagine maybe they spent a year on this and it's okay, we can't get a simple system, it's just not feasible, and so we're gonna have a, a need to have a more complex system with all these weird cases. It could have been possible. But it turns out through through a lot of thought, a lot of work, we have this very simple version. And I think this is the importance of the paper because then the engineers can start building a sy system knowing it's possible, right? They have directions for how to do it, they know it's possible to do it. It's just a matter of, of time and engineering effort. I think that's like the real importance of the paper.